Excellency, Mr. Abdul Salam Diallo. This is the moment to translate our collective call for action into a shared sense of urgency in supporting leaders on both sides, as they must realize that this is an opening they cannot afford to lose. Progress indeed necessitates serious political commitments if leaders on both sides are to achieve the vision of a two-state solution they have both agreed on. We do not underestimate the difficulty of developing a substantial initiative that should provide a credible horizon for achieving a two-state solution at long last. But we cannot emphasize enough that this is the moment for concerted action and continued support to the parties. The risk of foregoing the present opportunity should be clear for both sides. Respect of the law is an obligation upon all states, including Israel, the occupying power, and no pretext can justify breaches of the law. Such respect is vital for overcoming the obstacles that have constantly caused the peace process to fail and exacerbated conditions on the ground. Such respect is what will ensure that the negotiation to resolve all final status issues, Jerusalem, refugees, settlements, borders, security, prisoners, <coughs> and water, ultimately result in conclusion of the just lasting peace we have sought for decades. Brazil, Costa Rica, Cuba, Israel is committed to the peace process and looks forward to resuming direct negotiations with the Palestinian Authority. Our visions is two states for two people, one Arab and one Jewish, living side by side in peace and security. Israel has made peace with Egypt, and we have made peace with Jordan. These treaties are evidence that with honest effort and committed leadership, peace is possible. But peace requires leaders who will reject terror and embrace partnership, leaders who oppose incitement and promote tolerance, leaders who will raise their people up rather than tear Israel down. Under Rule 39 of the Council As Secretary Kerry noted, everyone is aware that this process will not be easy. And no one believes that the long-standing differences between the parties can be resolved overnight or just wiped away. We know that the challenges require some very tough choices in the days ahead. Today, however, we are hopeful because the representatives of two proud people have decided that the difficult road ahead is worth traveling and that the daunting challenges that we face are worth tackling.